Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, 1992. Now, I've seen The Legend of Zelda on the NES on my channel. We've also seen Zelda 2. The Adventures of Link. Okay, long ago, the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule surrounded by mountains and forests. Whoops, I just skipped over the intro. But anyways, I tried playing this game the other day, and I could not figure out what I was doing, so I ended up recording 20 minutes of me just walking around in a circle, so that's why there's already a file there. I watched a little bit of it on YouTube to figure out how to play somewhat, so let's sing it a little further. Help me. Please help me. I'm a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard, a guy named that has done something to the other missing girls. Not only I remain. A guy named has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Me, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. Pick things up and throw them. Oh, I see my brothers too. You got the lamp. Now you can light torches and see your way in darkness. Guess I'm trying now. I see last time I was just walking around. If you press the you're a short magic car, you can't use the same now. Watch the magic meter. Okay, there's the button I was trying to do. Anyways, this is the map of the whole place, and I just kept walking in circles. Couldn't figure out where to go. But I think I have a slightly good idea now. You can't go through any of these guarded areas. Castle you can't get into, but there's a secret passageway. I guess you just gotta take your time to find this right one here. Wrong button. See, that's what I couldn't find last time. And this keeps kept coming up the other day when I was playing. Every few minutes to say this. Help me, I'm in the dungeon of the castle. No, there's a hidden path from outside of the castle to the garden inside. On me. I don't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power on the blade. Hold the B button. Then release it using the secret technique handed down by our people. Me, you can do it. Say the princess Zelda is your. Okay. So press the B button to slash. Press and hold it. And it charges up like that, like over the B button. And he does that. He just doesn't care that someone's behind him hitting him with a sword. Oh, that must be my magic meter. Can't pick that up. Okay, now this game's a lot more fun than it was the other day when I was trying. I really don't have a whole lot of time tonight to play, so it's... Okay, how do you 
place this way. last time, plus I'm going to be splitting it up into, like, one video for each level. Like, level one will be one video, level two will be another video. You know, this game kind of reminds me of the music and the sword fighting and that kind of reminds me of the legend of the Oh, what's that? Okay, they're not gonna let me in. In case you haven't watched it yet, there is a Zelda level in that game. Now, if you've never heard of Bobo's Big Adventure and you're probably confused by what I'm talking about, it is a newer game, a tribute to the NES. You play as a Bobo from Double Dragon. Level 1 is like a Double Dragon level, level 2 is Super Mario Brothers level. Level 3 is like Contra, level 4 is Legend of Zelda, Castle, and then there's, there's like a, all kinds of different old NES characters in, in the game too. the map, you can use it to see your current position in the rest of the dungeon, press X. So it's pretty much like the old game, The Legend of Zelda, except for it. the graphics are a lot better. I mean, pretty much the same idea. But anyways, Bobo's Big Adventure is... Cool. Basically, they took all the old Nintendo games and kind of stuck them together. Now it's got the old characters in it. And the levels of the board are just like old games. It's a really fun game. You got a rage meter too. Whenever you attack the bad guys, your rage meter goes up. If you get hit, it goes down. If you get full rage, you press the A and B button at the same time. Okay. 
Oh, let us fail. I need some health. I really hope, like the original Zelda game, I hope it's not like you die and you go all the way back to the beginning. I think I was already over this way. Yeah, I was. Now what do I do? There we go. Oh, that was cool. You got the boomerang, give it a try. Just like right and press the start button. Why is it I can find all these hearts before and now when I need them I can't find them? dungeon it can open many locks that small keys cannot. Thank you, me. I had a feeling you were getting close. Me, listen carefully, the wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers of the castle. I fear the wish for my father, the wizard is an inhuman fiend. A bunch of dots. Do you understand? I just say yes. Alright, let's go out of here. Let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path. First, we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. Well, oh, she really follows, too. <laughs> wow. That was pretty easy. It's 
Considering this is only my second time playing it, first time I only played for 20 minutes and had no idea what I was doing. Okay, so I hope I'm going the right way. Whoa. I hope I can't fall off the edge of the It looks like I can, but... Die, fool. Oh, I lost my thing. Yeah, there's that guy again. Okay, so where's the first floor at, anyway? good so I want to go ahead and save and quit maybe someday I'll practice this game some more get better at it and we'll see some more of it but 
other than that, tomorrow I'll be doing a Hobo's Big Adventure, which I'm looking forward to because the last time I played, I was only I wasn't able to pass the one stage, which is like Mega Man. Now I can pass that stage and get to the next one, which is like Contra. I can get to the end of that one, but I can't beat Kirby. So, anyways, my next video I'm going to be doing, like, part one is going to be level one. We're going to see level two. Each level is going to be a different video, so kind of be separated. But, plus it'll be better picture quality because the last one was recorded with my old, old camera, so... Hope you enjoyed that game, and I'll see you in the next video. And also, I forgot to add that pretty soon I'm going to be starting my Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition full season. So I look look forward to the intro on that one. I'm going to be doing a full intro, which I haven't done before for my previous Tecmo games. And the intro is pretty much going to cover what the football seasons are about, in case anyone hasn't seen the last seasons. I'm also going to show up the standings of the previous two seasons, talk about the Super Bowl champions and all that, and also be showing the upcoming schedule of this season. So, I decided it'd be better to do a full intro for it, and I'll probably be doing an intro for all my other full season sport games too. And for Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition, I plan on doing a full season to MLBPA on the Super NES. And then after that, I'm going to be doing full season of Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition on the Super NES and I'll also be doing NHL 07 on the PS2. I'm going to kind of, kind of combine them together but I'll go into more detail in my intro. So, hope you enjoyed the game and I'll see you in the next video.